But because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. That's what we're seeing on the news, day in and day out. Come on. I will call together all the king of the earth. What y'all have to see, what you see happening in Syria and Iraq, is what we're reading here. Behold, saith God, I will call together all the kings of the earth. Come on. To reverence me. Uh-huh. Which are from the rising of the sun. Go ahead. From the south, from the east, and Libanus. Libanus is Lebanon. To turn themselves one against another. So God's plan, his program, is to have these nations fight each other. Let's say it again. God's plan is to have these nations fight each other. Read. And repay the things. Listen good to this. And repay the things that they have done to them. Write this down. To them is the Israelites. Everything that you see in the news is a, a direct judgment for what the nations did to the blacks and the Latinos and the Native American Indians. We are the Israelites. It is going to say it crystal clear. Read. Like as they do yet this day unto my chosen. So what you see happen to Trayvon Martin, what you saw happen to Michael Brown, Kajim Powell, the most I said, I'm not, I'm not sleep on none of that. I see all the injustice. Israel for not keeping God. Go to 15 and then jump straight to 68. 
Come on, watch this. Watch this, brother. What's your name, by the way? Yeah. Chris, huh? Christopher. Christopher. What about you? What's your name? Michael. Michael? Okay. Christopher and Michael. Come on, read that. Come on. But it shall come to pass uh -huh. that thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So remember, the scripture said these be the words that Moses spake unto all Israel, right, Chris? He said, if you Israelites don't keep the commandments, the law, statutes, and commandments, watch this. Go hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't keep them to hear them, come on. To observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So on, in Seattle, on Pine and, and Third, where we at? Would you say that our people is a blessed people or a cursed people? That's right. What, 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 what would you say? We, we are cursed people, right? We see it every day in our neighborhoods. They're drug stricken. Brothers, black on black crime. Hispanic and on Hispanic crime. Native American on Native American crime. That is a curse. That's not a blessing. Why did this happen? Because we didn't hear. We didn't hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So let me show you some of these curses so we can pin the beard on the Jew. Let me show you. Go jump straight to 68. Bring it out. Watch this. What does it require? Bring it out. But to be 
in all his ways and how do you love him? He's going to explain right here. Come on. To serve the Lord thy God. The Lord. With all thy heart. Read. And with all thy soul. To keep the commandments. So you, you please him and serve him by keeping his commandments. When you walk in all his ways by keeping in his commandments, right? Let me show you something because remember, Deuteronomy 28 15 said this only happened to us. The curses happen to us because we don't listen. Because we're hard-headed. We don't keep the commandments. So if not keeping the commandments is how we got into this situation, how do you get out of it? Bring it up! No, by keeping the commandments. By keeping the commandments. Because look, let me show you something right quick. We're reading the Bible, right? We're reading the scripture, right? Let me show you a commandment that you can start keeping right now. Let me show you something you can keep right now. First Corinthians chapter 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 2. See, like he did, he just snatched his hat off. That's actually a good thing. Then he put it back on, which is actually a bad thing. So let me show you something about this. Come on. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 1. Be ye followers of me. Paul said, be ye followers of me. Mike, come on. Even I am also of Christ. Now I praise you, verse, verse 3. But I would have you know. That the head of every man is Christ. So, uh, Paul is about to give a divine order. He said, "Every, every, the head of every man is who? Christ, right? Christ, not this white homosexual guy right here, but the black Messiah." Come on, read. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. But the head of every man is Christ. Come on. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is who? The head of the woman is who? And the head of the woman is the man. So who's the head of the woman? <laughs> who's the head of the woman? The man, right? The man, right? Come on. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. So Paul just gave a divine order. Right? He gave himself, uh, most high God, Christ, man, woman, child. Correct? Now watch. This is where the commandment come in at. Read. Every man praying. Prophesy. Every man that includes you, Mike. Every man that's praying or prophesying, which we're doing right now, we're prophesying. That's right. We just read a whole bunch of prophecies <laughs> that was going to happen to us and our people for not keeping God's laws, right? Hey. So we're reading prophecy, correct? So it says every man praying or prophesying. Every man praying or prophesying, uh -huh. having his head covered, uh -huh. this honoring. His head. So dishonor is disrespect. That's you got right. grandkids, right? Teach. You got kids, right? Would you want them? Would you want them to disrespect you? At any anyway? So the scripture just said, if you got your head covered while the Bible is coming out, that you dishonor or disrespect your head. But you dishonor Christ. You dishonor the Most High God. Do you want to be? Do you want to be looked at as dis disrespecting or dishonoring the Father and the Son? Then what should you do while the Bible is coming out? You should remove your hat off your head. That's because right. it show him that it should give him his respect. Like if your grandkids and your kids came into your house, right? And you were like, remove that hat and, and, and show me some respect. You won't expect that to happen. You won't expect it for them to do that, correct? That's what the Most High God just said. He said, every man praying or prophesying with his head covered, dishonoreth his head. But can you have him come out here and talk to his kids instead of you? That's all I want. Why ain't God right here with y'all though? Like, the man right there? God, what, what is the God's will? What is Lord, what is God's will? What is God's will, Chris? Mike, what is God's will? I got my hand raised. Huh? <laughs> yeah, and your God is going to destroy everything, but you got to wake up first. You got to wake up first. You got to, first thing you got to do is remove the hat off your head and give him his respect. How, how can you say anything about your God, but you're in the midst of disrespect? right now? You gotta show, you gotta show him respect. Teacher. If you was in, if you was in the in the white man's court system, Come on, if you went into the court, you would remove your hat. That's right. That's yes, right. you would. That's and if not, you get put out. Well, you get put out. They will make you. Uh, they will make you. They will make you take off your hat. That's how it works. But you can't give the Most High God respect. But you're talking about your God. Give me Romans chapter six and verse twenty-three. Let me show you. The wages for, for uh, our people being disrespectful. Why do you think we get gunned down in the street left and right, Mike? Why? It's because of our sin. It's because of our sin. It's because of our sin. Read what you got. The book of Romans, chapter 6, and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. Something, something simple, like, district, like not taking your hat off, and honoring the Most High God and His Son can get you put to death, brother. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. This sin, sin is what? What is sin, brother? 
Do you know what sin is? When you don't. So we just read a commandment. Why don't you follow? No, because there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Now let's go get some more commandments. Give me Leviticus 21 and 5, man. This is how, and now that shows signs of repentance. That shows humility. That shows you actually want to do something with the Father and His Son. That's right. Watch what you watch. Come on. Leviticus 21 and 5. Bring it out. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21. Because our goal, hold that, go to Isaiah 58 and 1. Our goal is to come out here and show our people who they are, right? Gold wins. Then after we show our people who they are, we show them how to get back right with God. Because he commanded us to do that. Remember, it said the wages of sin is death. So he commanded us to come out here and show our people where they go wrong so we can get right. Don't you want to rule the world again? This is how you do it. Come on, read what you got. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud. What? Cry aloud. Spare not. Don't spare nobody's feelings. Come on, because there's going to be a lot of people that's going to come up emotional. My man, he was emotional. The other guy that was standing right here, he was emotional. He said, don't, don't worry about their emotions. Come on. Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Be loud with it so everybody can hear you. A trumpet ain't low. When you blow a trumpet, everybody can hear you. Bring it up! Green stuff. Read with, uh, go to, uh, 
uh, Joel 2.27. Because when I say he only the God of Israel, people start turning their face up. The Bible say that. Watch this. Come on. The book of Joel. Chapter 2 and verse 27. And ye shall know. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. You in the he in the midst of who? That I am in the midst. Of Israel. No, he in the midst of the whole world. And I am in the midst of Israel. Just Israel, bro. Come on. And I am the Lord, your God, uh -huh. and none else. Oh, he said, I'm the Lord, your God, and none else. So for you to get back into good standards with me, you got to keep the commandments. You, first, you got to know who you are. Right. Then you got to start keeping the commandments. Right. See, the true man of God. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.